Hi there. So when you add a contact form in Divi, this is pretty much what you get right out of the box. So what I want to do is customize it a little bit. So we're going to turn this form into something more like this. So specifically, we'll add a background image. We'll change the headline here, give it a drop shadow and center it. We will add rounded corners to the form fields and to the submit button and we'll change it out a little bit. We'll make the captcha a little bit bigger and then just for fun we're going to go ahead and add a stamp and we'll also customize the success message after an email is sent. So let's get started. So this is the Divi Builder. So if you're using a version of Divi prior to 3.0 this is where you'll be making all your edits. But since I'm using Divi 3 I'll go ahead and use the Visual Builder. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is delete the contact form so we can start from fresh. So I'm in this screen here. So I've added a section. So we have this section here. So I'm going to click on the gear icon. I'm going to upload a background image. I'm going to go ahead and choose this image. Now I've made this image 1920 by 1080. That gives me a little bit of room to play with. So I'm going to go ahead and hit click upload. I'm not going to make any other changes here. I'm going to leave everything as is. So as you can see, here's my image. It doesn't look like much yet. So let's go ahead and add a row. I'm going to add two columns. In the first column, I'm just going to put a divider. You may not need to put a divider, but I always do. So we're going to click on 10. No color. I don't want to show the divider. This is just a placeholder. In the second column, I'm going to add my contact field. So I start typing contact and it shows up. There we go. Name, email, message is fine. If I wanted to add like business name or address, you know, mailing address or something, then I would click add new item and I would add those. I want to display my captcha. That's this right here. So you're going to type in your email here. So I'll do all this off screen, but I'm going to type in test at test.com title. So that's what's going to show up right above here. So I'm going to type in send me mail. Message pattern, that would be if you want it to show up in your inbox formatted. Typically I format mine, although it's usually the last thing I do because Divi does strip out the HTML code I put in here. So again, I would name, I always put a paragraph but that gets stripped out. So what this basically does is it puts this information in the body of the email that you receive. So I like to have it in there so it's in that body of the email. So here we'll have our success message. So you type in whatever you want there, then I'll show you shortly how to customize that. All right, so under design, form background color, I want mine to be white, so I'm gonna click white. Input radius, now that's gonna be these forms here. You see right now they have corners, I want mine to be a little rounded because I have our mailboxes here and they're kind of rounded so maybe 10 there you go so you know you see how they rounded I'm okay with the title font I'm okay with the title font size so I'll leave those as they are the title text color it's black right now I want it white title spacing title line height I'm okay with all this I'm okay with the font size form text color that's going to be this text right here. So I want mine to be a custom color. I'm going to make mine orange. Actually, let me see. Let's go ahead and bold it a little bit. It makes it pop a little bit more. Use border, yes. I want my border to be the same color as my field. So I'm going to put orange. And we'll play with the border width in a moment, but let's go with the style first. Actually, let's do the border width now just so we can see what the style looks like a little bit more than we can play with the size. So as we make it thicker, you can see what happens. Now I'm going to go ahead and just check out these other ones. There's dotted, there's dashed, double, 
groove, ridge, inset, and outset. So I kind of want to go with dotted or dashed. So let's go with let's go with dashed, and then I don't like it that big. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So I'll go with the two. Use custom styles for buttons. Yes, that will allow me to customize this button here. So I'll say yes. Now all these other fields opened up. So we can do a, a, a we can change the size of the button. I'm okay with it being 20 for now. The button text color. So that's going to be where the word submit is. So we're going to change that to white. The button background color, I'm going to make it green. I'm going to actually probably remove the border, so by doing that, I'm going to make that green as well. The radius of the button, again, I want to kind of make it match, so I'm going to say 10. I'll leave all this, add icon, button icon, yes. And then I'm going to choose this mail icon right here. Button icon color. I'm going to make it yellow. Right, okay. Show icon on hover for button. Yes, so what happens is when you hover over it, the icon appears. I want to change my hover color. So you saw it was just white a second ago. If I change it to yellow, it's now yellow. I'm going to leave the background color for the hover the same. If I wanted to change the color, when I hovered over it, you can see it's blue. But now I'm going to go to green. There you go. And then I want to change the radius so it matches, so it doesn't change. So all that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and save those changes and I'm going to go ahead and save these changes so I don't lose them okay so now I've made the basic changes here so what I want to do now is let's go ahead and customize this I'm going to have to go into my style sheet to do that because what I want to do is center it and add a drop shadow so the first thing I'm going to do is exit my visual builder the reason I do that is that will enable me to right click on it and inspect and you can inspect if you're in most modern browsers including Firefox and Chrome and Edge so what I want to do here is find out what the class for the main title is and I can see it right here so it's in the h1 heading and the class is ET PB contact main title so I'm going to go over to my dashboard. Now I can do this from two places. If I do not have a child theme, I can go to Divi, Theme Options, and then down to the Custom CSS. But since I have a child theme, I'm going to add it here to my style sheet. And I went to Appearance Editor to get here. So the first thing I want to do is comment so I know what this is. So we're going to align the contact title. We're going to add the period for the class. Now the class for the contact title was ET underscore PB underscore contact underscore main underscore title. And let's put our curly brackets. So what we want to do is align it, right? So we're going to put text align center so let's go ahead and update that file so we're going to come back to our Divi site we don't need that so let's close that I'm going to refresh it the reason I need to refresh it is because I need to reload that style sheet so as you can see it is now centered so now we want to add the drop shadow to it to make it a little bit easier to read so we'll come back to our style sheet now we can do one of two things I can either add it 
here under this class or since I've already previously created one for an H1 field, we can add this to the custom class field. So we're gonna just go, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it under here so we can show you how to do it. All right, so we're just gonna add the text shadow here. So text shadow, and then we're gonna do the, the spread, the distance, all that information. We're just gonna do it two pixels, RGBA, we're just gonna do 25, which is a gray, and we'll do one, which is the opacity. So we're gonna make it solid. We'll go ahead and close it out with a semicolon. Let's update the field, and let's see if it added a drop shadow. There you go. So we now have a drop shadow. I actually did a video on text shadow, so you can watch that. I don't wanna take the time to explain all of this here. All right, so now the next thing we need to do is let's make this capture box a little bit bigger. Because one of the frustrating things in here, let's say this was supposed to be a double digit number. So 52, you'll notice it disappeared. You don't see the five. So I want to make the box just a little bit bigger. So again, I'm going to right click and hit inspect. So this is the value here, the div class that we want to change. ET underscore PB underscore contact underscore right. We see it's in a paragraph and it's an input field. Now, if we click on this input field, you can see down there, if you look down here, it's 45 by 52. So we're gonna change that number to something a little bit bigger. So let's go do that. So again, we're gonna come over here to our Divi style sheet and we're gonna comment it. So if you recall, the class was ET pb contact right it was a paragraph and it was an input field so we're going to add those, all that we're going to add a max width to this and i'm going to make the at max width 60 and i don't want it overridden so i'm going to put important so I'm gonna update the file. I'm gonna come back here. We're gonna refresh. And you can now see the capture field is bigger. So now, if I add a two digit number, you can see the whole number. I've gone ahead and off screen and added my email address. So I'm gonna go ahead and send a test message. So we'll see what happens. So first of all, let's try not adding the correct captcha. So it tells me here you enter the wrong number in CAPTCHA and I cannot read that. So let's inspect it. So here we have a div class of ETPB contact message. All right, so again, we're gonna come over here to our style sheet. Let's go ahead and comment this out. So this will be contact form error message. We recall the class was ET hyphen PB hyphen contact hyphen message. So for now, I just want to see if this works. So all I'm going to do is change the color. So we're going to change the color to white. We'll update the file. Let's come over here. Let's make sure we load the style sheet, so we'll hit reload. And I'm not gonna fill this stuff out, I'm just gonna hit submit. And you can see everything here is white. So now we wanna make that a little bit prettier. So here we can actually add any color we want to. So I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly update it. So I added I add this yellow. You'll notice here I have my colors commented out. And the reason I do that, because these are the colors I use on my website. So it's a lot easier for me just to look at the top of my style sheet to find the colors I need. So I've added yellow, I've added a drop shadow. I've added a little bit of background color just to offset it slightly from the picture that I used and I have a text line of center. So let's go ahead and update that. Come back here, refresh. And if I hit submit, so now you'll see all those changes I made are now captured here. Okay, so what happens if I actually send a correct message? So we'll do test test 
and test. This time I'm going to enter the correct CAPTCHA number. We'll hit submit. That CSS also worked for my success message. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to take out the word error. So looking over here, there's the two things we need left to do is we need to add the stamp and the border. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So on the stamp, I want to add it to this right column. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new module. It's going to be an image. I'm going to upload the image. I've already done that, but you would go to upload files, select files. But since I've already uploaded it, I'm going to go ahead and select that. So for now, I'm just going to hit Save Changes. I'm going to come down here. I want to move it to the top. So you can, you can barely see it, but there's that little gray horizontal box that opens up. So I want to drop it there. So now let's customize it. So we're going to hit the gear icon. Normally you would give it your alt, your, your text, so, so we'll just call it Divi Dude Postage. We don't want to open Lightbox, we don't want to link it. I don't want to have any animation. I want to put it on the right hand side. Then we're going to come over here to design and we're going to give it a negative top margin to move it up so we'll just do 75 pixels try negative 90 here we go so we're going to go ahead and save that and the border i did another video on border so but again we're just going to come up here to our section add border top we want it to be about three pixels we want it solid we want it light and then I want to give it a margin top of zero pixels and then we're going to just hit yes and then we're just going to save it save button and since I'm here let's go ahead and change this so that it kind of matches and then if you recall we can adjust our padding here Just this padding here is going to affect our, our margin on our stamp. But that's okay. I think that looks pretty good. Change that there. I'm going to go ahead and save it. All right, so we went from a basic contact form to something that's a little bit more customizable and that looks a little bit better. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. All right, thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.